With the cost of living increasing and no signs of inflation slowing down for the remainder of the year, many El Paso residents are concerned about the significant spike that they have seen in their recent electric bills. Yeah, KTSM 9 News reporter Oriana Botaro directly spoke with one of the El Pasoans who has been affected by this increase, and she joins us live now in the newsroom. Oriana, I also know you spoke with a spokesperson of El Paso Electric. What have you learned? Well, Andy, Monica, it's typical to see a spike in our electric bills during the summer months as we tend to run our units longer with lower temperatures to bear the heat. However, one El Pasoan tells me he never expected to see such a big jump in his bill. And we're seeing a constant increase of our electricity bill, so it's getting harder for consumers to be able to afford it. Rene Botello owns a real estate firm on the east side. He says he saw his bill for his own home go from $80 one month to $180 the next without changing how he uses his electricity. He tells us that if the electric bill keeps increasing, it could also impact his business. Well, in this building alone, because we have a 3,200 square foot office, you know, we're going to see a huge increase in what we're paying for electricity, right? So that can affect something as simple as being able to hire somebody else so that they have an income because now we have to have this huge electricity spike. And so maybe it affects pay for, for our people here. Robert Heimer, the director of customer care for El Paso Electric, says the hike in the electric bill can be attributed to a variety of factors, the main one being that we're in the middle of summer. This time of year, we do expect that as the weather, as the temperatures increase, uh, so do our customers will use more uh, energy consumption. And that is largely being driven by their air conditioning, uh, especially customers who have refrigerated air. When asked what El Paso Electric is doing to work with customers. We're doing everything we can to keep our energy bills affordable for our customers. We know how important that is. Um, and at the same time, we're also making sure that we're meeting our other goals, such as reliability and providing or creating an opportunity so that we can be uh, we can have transforming the energy landscape for the future. But in the meantime, Botello says he and others like himself still have to make sacrifices to pay their bills. Am I going to put gas? Am I going to buy groceries or am I going to pay my electricity bill? Like it's going to start being. I guess pretty severe to people to be able to afford just a common lifestyle here in the city if we keep getting these increases in electricity. Heimer urges any customers with uh, regarding with any concerns regarding the, their bill to reach out to El Paso Electric or head to their website where they have tips and tools that can give you a better understanding on your energy consumption. For now, reporting in the newsroom, Oriana Botaro, KTSM 9 News.